Hi, Jerry Albright's National Platform Tennis Champion. Today in our one minute clinic, the point ender, the slash, in regular and super slow mo. Here we go. Today we're gonna be working on the slash with Dan Hansen at regular speed and super slow mo speed. And Dan Hansen is known for one of the best spin slash type overheads and it's lefty. And that's a huge advantage to have when people haven't seen it because the ball goes in different areas and it's a way that it could end points and it puts pressure on your opponents that they now have to lob better. They miss more lobs when they play Dan. They can't handle the spin. The ball goes off their racket, it goes left, it goes right. They move the wrong way. It's a way to end points other than the traditional soft stride, soft side screen, soft middle. So you need to understand that this, this shot is very difficult. You don't throw it out too often, even while we're practicing it. You know, it's not a given that he's always going to be able to execute that shot. But you continue to work on it, the folly, and then work on developing that slash. What's so good about that slash is for a righty, when they're running in, they're so used to the ball going backwards or there. But as I run in to try to defend it, not only does it bounce here, it goes to my left. It runs away. So when people are going against it the first time, they always make the wrong move first time. So even if you think you're going the right way, it pulls away from you. Now Dan and I are gonna break this down into slow-mo. You're gonna see all the elements involved and what it takes to actually execute a point ending slash. So here, Dan's first move is shoulder turn, and he knows he's going with the slash. He does more of an abbreviated prep. Racket's coming back, shoulder height. He starts getting down and let the ball drop, but he hits it behind his hand and almost even with his body on contact. And then that ball comes directly back into the net. As we watch it again, he already has his grip. He gets his shoulder turn. He closes his stance, which means his right leg goes in front of his left. He's dropping down with the ball to let it drop. His racket at his back, and he swings aggressively so there's enough action on the ball to make it bounce over and come back. You don't want to be tentative on this shot because you won't get enough spin. So now that we've seen Dan hit some, I want to go over some of the things Go over some of the things you're looking for. One of the things we talk about is an extreme full Western almost grip. So when you have the continental grip, you're going to turn it one, two more bevels, at least to your left. So that's a crazy grip. I don't know exactly what that grip is called, but that's going to help you. So you have to have time to switch from continental to extreme and then get that spin on it. So again, here, and you're really gonna come around the side of the ball and not as much underneath it because it's a more higher percentage shot. It's a safer shot when you're coming more around the side. And that ball will come down. The lower that ball is, the less time they're going to have to judge whether it's a slash or a deep overhead. One of the things when I, I was just noticing, when I do it really well, I'm a lot more patient and letting the ball come down lower. Even if you know it's coming, if I do it right, I think, yeah. See, like when I get that low, it makes, even though he knows that he's getting it, he can't defend it. So right off the bat, I've done my extreme grip change and preparation. It looks like a regular overhead. Left arm up, racket behind the head, but I let it drop a little bit lower and come around the outer edge so I could execute the slash. But the preparation is very similar to a regular overhead. They don't know what's coming. I let the ball come down a little bit, shoulder height, and I hit it on the side of my body and I come around the outer edge of the ball, so the ball spins back towards the net and a little bit left. Shoulder turn, 
contact shoulder height, side of the body, regular overhead preparation, but a much later contact point to execute that slash and hit the unreturnable overhead that comes back into the net. It requires a lot of confidence, but also setting up and making sure it is the exact right ball to do it on. You know, I think it's very important that you don't get lazy and do it when you're unsure or, you know, you just don't do it well. It requires, even in this shot, time to get the grip over, time to set up, patience to let it get low, and then enough aggressiveness to pull the trigger. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Thank you so much for watching the video and please do me a favor and subscribe and ring the bell. And my promise to you before I go is if you watch all these one minute clinics, you too can become a national champion. Well, maybe. Even if you know it's coming, if I do it right, I think. Yeah. <laughs>